Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, King of Kings and the Lord of Lord. Amen. So the message today is quite loud and clear as I'm making my way to my home. The word is loud and clear. The word of God saves lives. Amen. Coming to preach to you every day gives me joy because I love you so much. The Bible says, for God so loved the world that he gave his life, Jesus Christ. Amen. That's why you're celebrating Christmas. Forget about the Christmas tree. Forget about the Christmas light. The only light that you need today in your life is the light of God. That's Jesus Christ. Amen. He's the light of the world. You see, any light that you have today, apart from God, you don't have a life. Amen. I want the light of God to shine in your heart. I want you to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior. Amen. The Bible says he came in the flesh and died for you. And because he died for you, that's why you have a life today. So any life that you are living outside God, it's not a life. Amen. The Bible is telling you today to do what? To repent and give your life to Jesus Christ. Amen. Without Jesus, you don't have no life. Amen. The Bible said that he said that I am the life. So that means the John, the book of John 14 verse 16 is very clear. He said, I am the way, the life, the truth. Amen. So that means if you don't have Jesus in your life today, you do not have a life. And when you die, you cannot make it into the kingdom of God. That's why today I'm preaching to you. For you to do what? To give your life to King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Jesus Christ is Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. What a wonderful day to serve a living God. Do you know that as many people today are living, do you know at the same time many people are dying? You see? Now the Bible says that after there comes judgment. Now you need to ask yourself a question. When you die, where is your final destination? You see? Because when all said and done, you need to give account to one person. And that person is Jesus Christ. Amen? So whatever thing that you are doing in this life, you need to give account to God. Whether good or bad. Amen? The Bible says, Jesus Christ came in the flesh and died for you. Amen? The Bible says, for God so loved the world that he gave his son Jesus Christ. That's why you have Christmas today. You are enjoying, you are eating the turkey. You are enjoying everything God has given to you. God giving you a day off. But then again, God wants you to serve him. Amen? The baby Jesus Christ, it is the same Jesus Christ that tell you to do what? To repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. The Bible says that the same God that you see that come as a baby and then he died for you, the same God is coming again to judge the world. Amen? So the question is, when you come to judge the world, are you, are, are you saved? You see? Because if you don't have Jesus Christ, you don't have a life. And if you don't, if you don't have a life, that means when you die, you're perishing. Amen? And it shouldn't be so because the Bible says God has already come in the flesh and died for us. That's why today we, it's, it's so good to serve a living God. Because you know that when you die, you know your final destination. Amen? God has given us a way out through His Son. By His Son dying for me and you at the cross of Calvary. And the Bible says that through Him we have peace with God. And, and that peace that passes every understanding. He's still, he's still living with you while you are still living. Amen? And when you die, you don't just die. The Bible says you are, you are asleep. That means you wake up. When you open two of your eyes, you're going to see God face to face. What a wonderful thing to see on that day. Amen. And that is what I'm telling you today, to give your life to Jesus Christ. Amen. Because when all said and done, you need to make an account to one person. And that person is Jesus. And the same Jesus that you're celebrating for Christmas time, you're celebrating and you're having all, all this good time. The Bible says the same Jesus Christ, when he come again, he's coming to judge you. Amen. You, you put it in this way. It's, it's, it's like a marriage. It's, it's, like, it's like a bride without a broom. Without a bridegroom. I mean, Jesus Christ is our bridegroom. He's coming again. We are specially married to Jesus Christ. I mean, the church. The Bible says the judgment will start from the house of God. You see? And when God goes to judge, the Bible says He's going to judge us righteously. You see? So today I'm telling you to give your life to Jesus. Amen? Because when all said and done, you're going to give account to one person, and that person is Jesus Christ. So the same Jesus Christ we are celebrating about Him today, the same Jesus Christ is coming again to judge the world. And when He judge the world, He's going to judge us righteously. He's a merciful God, but then again, we are living under the grace. But the next time he's coming, he's coming as a judge. He's coming as a lion of the tribe of Judah. And there's no negotiation with him the second time he's coming. So as he's celebrating Christmas, bear in mind that our God is going to come later to do what to Jesus. Remain blessed in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus is Lord. Amen and amen and amen. Glory be to the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.